Hey guys, if I manage to get around editing the footage of some gameplay of this game that I did with some of my friends, then you'll know what this is. But anyway, um, I'm here today to talk about something that my friend did that kind of broke the logic of this game. Um, he did something amazing that I don't think any of us or anyone could easily replicate and it's just amazing. Um, now, a little description of what this game is. Osu is a rhythm-based game in which there are hit circles, sliders, and spinners. Uh, you use the mouse and keyboard, if you want, uh, to hit the circles. You can also use touchscreen stuff and a tablet if you want. That's optional. Anyway, um, what you do basically is hit the circles and sliders and spinners to gain score. Now, one thing I'd like to note is, um, well, there are replays. Now, um, a replay can be exported to a OSU replay file. In order for a replay file to exist, in the temporary data or in a OSU replay file outside of the game, the song must have been completed by the player. This is where Mork broke the logic of this game. Let's go ahead and go to our replay. This is it right here. This is his score and stuff like that. Now, this replay exists and yeah, it he finished the song alright. Yeah, totally. Um, he breaks the logic of this game. I'd like someone to explain to me exactly how this happened. Actually, I know how it happened. I will explain it in a minute after you see it. Anyway, I hope you I hope you enjoy Mork's little replay. Have fun.
Okay, so if you're familiar familiar with Osu, you'll recognize that sound very well. That is a sound of a player failing. Now, um, one moment. That was a sound of a player failing. Now, <laughs> if you recall from what I said earlier about a replay needing a replay can only exist if the player has finished the song this is still true what happened here and the reason that it shows that um he failed in this is because he was so close to death that who knows i'd have to see the log for this to actually say for sure but i can i can assume that um, the emulation of his gameplay thought, this game thought that he died, but he didn't. He lived. He completed the song, he finished it. He was so close to the point of him failing that the game stopped recording if the notes were hit or not what was going on. I'm pretty sure that's like a failsafe or something to avoid any weird stuff and that's probably how it determines whether a replay can be saved or not. The rest of the replay is still there. If we're able to skip ahead in the timeline we would be able to see that the rest of the replay is actually still there and you can see the rest of him finishing the song. But yeah. He broke the game. My friend, he broke the game. He broke Osu. I don't think anyone can replicate that, and I'd love to see Cookies do it. Um, anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was the awesomeness of Mork FZ, or Mork Fizz, if you prefer. Other than that, um, in the description down below, I will provide links to this game's website, the beat map that was just played, the song itself, a download for this replay, so if you don't believe me, you can watch it for yourself, um, and if Mork has any links, they'll be in their own little section. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little replay of my friend breaking a game which has probably this is probably the only instance of this recorded that has ever come around I don't think anyone's ever done this before so who knows um, anyway I'll catch you guys later I'm Cirrus this is Pony Express have a nice day